Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, LMG here, and welcome to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. This is a tactical RPG by Pixelated Milk. Just came out on Steam today on the 18th, they had, embargo. Just, they had an embargo on this one too. I guess this kind of story, spoiler wise. Uh, they did give me a copy uh, pretty far in advance, I played through, we're about halfway through. We're a little after chapter 2, it goes about 5 chapters. I think the whole thing takes probably about 30-40 hours-ish. Though the game is uh, very linear. Yeah, it is very linear. You can tell a lot of love has been put into this, though. Yeah, quite a great story as well. A lot of great characters, a lot of robust. And there's a couple characters that you will only be able to get, uh, because there's certain uh, diplomacy options. There's only one or two characters you can get, so a little bit of replayability there. It's got about a $24.99 price tag. I do gotta say it's worth it, though. And man, this 80s soundtrack is to die. This actually, I actually fell asleep listening to this. <laughs> well, I was a little bit drunk too in Vegas, but I digress. Yeah, we are actually uh, House Lauren. We are K of House Lauren. Uh, this is Ascalia, an abandoned kingdom uh, we inherited as our family. And we've got our two of our sisters here as well. Well, let's go pop into the town square. Looks like we've got a little bit of event. This is your town. And eventually you do build up all these buildings. We have one yet left to get. We had the stuff for that. I just don't have the supplies for that yet. Yeah, but this is the uh, town of Escalia. Let's go into town square here. Just have a lot of loading screens, though. I will say that is a little bit of a con. They're not particularly long, but... Yeah, I'm telling you, for the last time, you can't set up shop here. Uh, some really this great voice acting as well. Nobody needs your services! Hmm. <sighs> Is that so? I mean, potions, notions, elixirs? That's so six centuries ago. Who needs those anymore, am I right? We understand each other, yes? No, I do not understand. <sighs> well, watch my fingers. For I'm about to send you one very clear. It's a very cheeky. It's got it's got some good humor too. It's kind of a cheeky game, a light-hearted RPG. Ah, uh, great. Gentlemen, is it's not problem? RPG Maker, man. It's definitely a, got a really nice engine going. Yeah, some a lot of hand-drawn stuff. It is quite. Yeah, this is our no, main character. No, not a problem at all. Uh, just a casual chat. There is no need to get involved at all, so Lauren. <gasps> so Lauren. As in, Lord K. Lauren, might you be the one in charge? <sighs> Sometimes I talk too much. Indeed, that's me. And you are? I am a scientist. That's... vague. It's a matter of ethos. I believe in science. I exercise science. Hence, I am a scientist. <laughs> I'm a dirty competitor. What might that science be? Alchemy! I brew concoctions for any and every occasion. As questions, as answers, as problems, as solutions. There's a difference between a swamp herbalist and a devoted alchemist. I am proud to emphasize that difference. I see. And what does an alchemist require of me? A place to practice my trade. My previous laboratory imploded on all known planes of existence. An unfortunate kerfuffle among my assistants. Nothing overtly lethal, still unfortunate. Hmm, a potion brewer. An alchemist, I insist. Right. Well, I'd certainly be glad to have you. I think an alchemist would be an excellent addition to our town. But try not to blow up anything this time, okay? Fear you not. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes won't be repeated. No assistance this time. It's easy to handle such delicate substances by myself. Let's hassle, too. This is excellent. You are excellent. This decision is excellent. We are all Everything excellent. Everything is excellent. I'll get to work right now. Wait, wait! Where are you going? We need to get you a proper lab first. Hmm. Consider staying at the inn, meanwhile. Ah, an inn. Does it have proper distillation facilities? I'm gonna lean toward no on this one. No matter. The end, then. I will wait. Okay, he's gonna be able to make uh, potions again? and stuff for us. It occurs to me that you never told me your name. Oh, my name? This is getting weird. Why do you sound surprised? Surely you must have a name. Yes. It's Riel. All right. Riel. Nice to meet you. You can go now. 
What an odd fellow. Man, does that mask creep me out. You get a lot of story sequences like that. Quite good, quite good. Uh, but let's get into the uh, meat and potatoes of the game. Yeah, days go by. Uh, we already have our objectives done quite ahead of time, so we still have 18 days kind of to mess around with. But let's get into the game menu. Yeah, this is the current characters we have now. You'll be able to recruit more along the way, of course. And doesn't actually have individual levels, which is well, it's kind of an interesting uh, mechanic. Doesn't have It's got a party level. And every time you level at the party level, uh, all everybody's stats increase as well. It's got a lot of perk slots. You, you, you get more slots as you level up, as we can see here. Yeah, quite a different, yeah. Plus two resistance, plus 30 shields per activation. Yeah, so when we get into the combat, you'll see. It's got a kind of a unique combat system, as in you don't, you, there's no way to regain your hit points. You can get more shield points, as we'll find out. But health points, there's no way to regain health points. So you gotta kind of be, it's a very tactical RPG. Especially on the uh, normal difficulty, it is uh, quite, can, can be quite vexing at times. It's, uh, you gotta be careful. Let's actually just show this inventory thing, nothing too much there. You have regular quests you do have to complete, but the kingdom quests, usually every chapter you have to get uh, five kingdom quests done, which can be any of these down here. Clearing a dungeon, constructing buildings, uh, and reputation status with all the characters, or crafting, etc. Which would be another thing. Uh, each character here does have reputation levels. I'm trying to remember where that was. Uh, personal bonds, yes. Yeah, each character, even the ones in town, also have personal bonds. So, as you increase the more, their skills will increase. You can unlock other goodies, etc. This is actually the town. Or you can upgrade your buildings, etc. But you actually don't do it at this screen. You actually do it in the uh, other screen. And this is the diplomatic section. Because uh, between these two kingdoms, there will be a missive every once in a while. You have to choose between the two. And one will go up and the other won't go up. So then when you get to level 3 here, you will actually be able to unlock a character that you can use in your party. Okay, let's also go to... Got a lot of codex stuff. I don't know how much of this is uh, Kickstarter back written. But it's all really good, but it is... Uh, there's quite a bit of it. Yeah, very kind of wordy. Well, let's get, into, let's get into the cat main castle. Yeah, there is a little bit of a loading screen every time. It's not too bad, though. Kind of get used to it. And we'll go into the construction screen here as well. Just to show this off a little bit. Yeah, because eventually you start with just about uh, just the town square and the placeholder in and your castle, of course, but you can't upgrade the castle. But pretty much we've got a lot of this working. See, I just don't have enough money. That's the problem. Never enough money. I cancel that. Let's go back to the castle. And then we'll go out to the main world map. Start taking For your characters. Justice. We move now. Yes, yeah. baby. Light my fire. Yeah, we can take six characters right now. We have we have six. That so does look like we can get another six here, which I think about four of those uh, I do believe are uh, from the diplomacy. I'm not 100 percent sure because they kind of don't look like the portraits as well. I do plan on playing through the rest of this, but got a lot of we got the long dark update coming out, and we have uh, Morrowind on ESO, so quite a bit of stuff. Let's head out here. Yeah, it's a very laid back, like a kind of 80s movie uh, soundtrack. It's, it's very relaxing, actually. Can okay, you see the world map screen here? Uh, you do dungeons and you unlock more dungeons after you defeat that dungeon, etc. We'll go for an easier one. Let's see what we can find it easy. That's not too bad. Nah, I don't know about that one. Please explore. Uh, we're gonna go with the Yasha's Teeth. Let's go for that one. Not the new character right there, Ten. Okay. It's good here. And once you go to the dungeon, it is going to, even if you exit out, it is going to take the whole seven days. Uh, pretty much from what I believe. So yeah, we've got 15 days left. It would be a little bit of trouble if we hadn't had those quests already completed, but we've got uh, this pretty much extra time now. And pretty much this, every, uh, every dungeon area will get out like this. You'll have combat sequences. There's a camp where you can rest up. 
the only place to revive your character as well. And these can also lead to battle sometimes, but they're a little bit of a text adventures. Uh, they're kind of neat. So looks like we'll have three battles in this one. And you can't exit out, though yeah, we lose the time, but anything you've accomplished in the dungeon will stay done. So you don't have to get clear at all at once. But do be aware, time is very much a factor in this game. Defeat two waves of enemies. Okay, now also has side bonus challenges. You don't have to do these, but you get a little bit more extra XP and uh, maybe an item or something if you do. Okay, we got two waves of enemies. Ooh, I've not actually seen this guy before. Alright. Let's see, yeah. It is that kind of this camera angle, though. You can't really uh, change the camera angles. Which would have kind of been nice on a tactical sense point, but... We're going to bring uh, K. You can only bring four characters onto the map as well. We're going to bring K and Signy, because she is just awesome. She is a really good damage dealer. Uh, I think we'll go with the Levon or Big Man here. And Alyssa. Yeah, she's our mage. I'm not sure what that guy does yet. We actually found him in an archive library. He's a wannabe vampire. Yeah, you can only bring out four people to the map. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, wow. How many hit points you guys have? That's, that's not too bad. Let's actually see what they got going on. Let's just wait here. We'll use your turns. Because K here, he's a more important guy because he can actually give you 20% of the maximum shields. It does go up, I believe, until the amount of hit points you have. So let's say I have 1349 hit points. I can get a shield up to of 1349 in addition to that. Yeah, I can't go over. I can't have infinite shields, but... Strike now! Get you a little bit of extra shield. And every once in a while, you do get authority points. 30 points, it does lead up to your uh, ultimate ability. But otherwise, you can use that to get an actual a bonus action. Which doesn't mean, you can, if you've already moved, you can't move again. But you can get another turn. Say, if you fire off a bang shot, and then you want to get a, uh, a slice attack. And these turns, these bad things do have cooldowns as well. Not yet. Not for this. This shield one doesn't have a cooldown, though. So, there we go. A little bit more shield. A little bit more shield. Okay. Let's get that dangerous. Turn. And we're actually going to get a blazing barrier right here. So if they cross that, they're going to take some damage. Which, they, it didn't take a whole ton, but... Wow, okay. Like I said, in the normal difficulty, it is, it is not entirely forgiving. So we're going to have to charge this guy right quick. Yeah, the battles are not forgiving. We will probably end up getting murdered. Our first time until we figure out the mechanics of the it, Each fight's been kind of different. I'm wondering if I can get close enough. To use my Holy Diver. So it kind of teleports us. And we stun the guy. So we stun these two. So they won't be able to attack next round. So that'll save us a little bit of that. Okay. Oof. We so now Levon is yes. kind of surrounded. We're gonna head over here. This is probably not going to go well. A little pouncing attack. He's gonna do a woolen, which actually do quite a bit of damage. Applies the Sundered attack. Oh, almost dead. Ah, that's a shame. Leave this to me. Check everybody's hit points real quick. Yeah, not doing too bad. I think we do have to defeat two waves of enemies, though. A little bit of shields. All right. Here and see if I can do an Inferno attack. Though the game does have a little bit of a downfall, though, for me. It's a very, uh, very bad line of sight. And actually, later on, you can get some abilities that will negate your line of sight for your uh, 
uh, your skills. But it is very line of sighty. Like if you have somebody in front of you, like say you can't if you got him in front of you, you can't land this here because that's blocking your line of sight. Or yeah, pretty much something you would think would be line of sight. It's uh, it's even worse than XCOM in a way. Yeah, XCOM makes a lot more sense than this sometimes. Yeah, some things you definitely think would be line of sight are not line of sight. That is a definitely con in the game. Uh, it, it has been kind of annoying. But, yeah, I can't really hit anything. You have no line of sight. But I might just go add a fire shield to our buddy Levant here. Increase his defense. As long as I target a square on him, that'll work. That I can see, anyway. Okay, he's stunned. So let's, let's try to keep him stunned if we can. I do have a cooldown on that ability, the Holy Diver move, though. Ow. Oh, they're pinching us. Oh, no. Yeah, it's strange, but a nice tactical standpoint, though. There's no way to get your uh, health back up. Okay, so... I could go with the regular attack. I might give Holy Nova. You get about 65% base damage. But just give it... I don't want to, don't want to save that. Oh, I'm gonna go for regular shield bass on this guy. Does have XCOM range rule accuracy, so a little bit of a hit. Can't really move him, he's too big to move. A lot of battles yes, I can't yes. tend to take him out there because sometimes there's not spot for him to there's not spots for him to roam. Okay, let's get here. We can get both these guys. Oh, and unfortunately I forgot. Those guys explode when you do that. Oh, so we're down one. We're down one. Whoops. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can forget just just like that. Bang. All right. I'm not done yet. Yes, I have an ability to actually I can negate the line of sight, which is kind of nice. Yeah, but we're already down one. That is not a good sign. Yeah, I totally forgot about these bugs. If you do hit them, they do explode in a radius, so you can't really melee them. Let's get dangerous. Which was dangerous for me. I admit that. I'm just trying to see where I could actually have line of sight on this guy. I might just have to go with this one. And I actually do have ability also that will give me I can hit multiple people with that fireball. So that's kind of cool. Head back a little bit. We are in a little bit of trouble. Time to break a little wind. Oh, he didn't actually. Must have a. Hopefully, he's got a cooldown on that ability. I would say we are in a little bit of trouble here. We are in a little bit of trouble. Do not presume too much. Yeah, there's been more than a couple battles I have had to. Uh... Well, let's go. Crumble. His ability also, the shield bath, will knock him back more than likely half the time. Let's get back here. Always we'll block for Alyssa. Here we go. And I think as each turn goes on, they accumulate more and more uh, discharge. I guess that, I thought that was just kind of like explosive insides, but I guess it is mana that they just expel when they die. So a tad dangerous. I don't want to kill you if I. Well, we don't really want to do that. Yeah, we don't want. To, just thinking, I do not want to melee those guys. Right at you. Get some more shield. Not yet. Get some more shield as you. Ah, uh, but in a cave house, Lauren, you cannot actually uh, do shield on. So you gotta be very careful with him. He's kind of just the back healer. Does not uh, do too much usually. Let's get dangerous. All right. I could inferno you. Yeah, you can hit. You can hit here, but you can't hit slightly there. 
Even though you would think it would be, you can't. That's my one complaint. I'm gonna... I might regret using that big skill. Especially if it misses. Jesus. Yeah. Oh. That's a little rough. Yeah, all the maps are kind of small like this. Make the very tactical close fighting, but it's quite good. Ooh. Yeah, so now they're setting to blow themselves. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to... Yeah, because I think I'd hit both of them there. That'd be a good idea. Okay, move back a little bit. There we go. Yeah, battles can take uh, quite a while. Oh uh, yeah, I know, because you can't... That's the only my main complaint about the battles is the line of sight is pretty unforgiving. Put your guns on. Okay. Oof. Good night and good luck. Not yet. Strike now. Your shield up a little bit. Come on, baby. Light my fire. A little bit of fireball. Nope, we gotta be up a little more. Don't have the range. Do too much. Well, I'll probably leave off with this part of the video. These battles, uh, do be warned if you do one quick. I definitely go for the story mode. Uh, these battles in the uh, normal default mode can take quite a while because we're actually in just phase one. Yeah, these battles can take. Hold on, in the video, about 20 minutes. Uh, these battles can take anywhere from like half an hour or so, so they can't take a bit. Uh, and there's no saving in the middle of the battle either. Yeah, you can only save at the uh, campsite in between here. So, gotta make sure you get you got some free time. But overall, I would have to give this a good 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I think they do the line of sight and the... Uh, it's very strict linear time-wise. I can't... Uh, I can't jump around as much as I'd like. You gotta keep on task. You gotta keep on task. Which is good. It's, it's definitely a good adventure. Soundtrack's great. Voice acting is great. Uh, graphically, it is just amazing. Got a couple little technical details, but overall, I would highly recommend it. This is a game that's not going to see a lot of popularity, unfortunately. Yeah, not a lot of press behind this one. This is Pixelated Milk's first game. Uh, $24.99 price tag. A little high, kind of in the, in the current market, but I think definitely well worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out Regalia of Men and Monarchs on Steam. And I will catch you guys in the next video.